Welcome to a demonstration of the review course in civil engineering for the FE exam brought to you by PPI, the power to pass. This course is very similar to one that you might take over a 10 weeks period of time driving to your local university to study. Except there's three reasons why it's much better. First, this course is well researched. We've tried to figure out what kind of problems and what kind of topics are very typical of the FE exam. This program is designed for the new specifications for the FE exam as of 2014. And we update it every year for any new requirements or any changes in the reference manual. Number two, you don't have to drive. You don't have to drive to campus. We're here any time that you have a little bit of time to take the course. It's streamed over the internet. Number three, you can take it any time. You don't have to be here on time. It's available to you any time you want to click on your account. Now, there are 10 sessions, much like the one that you're experiencing right now, over all of the necessary topics for the FE Civil exam. Let's take a look at what kind of things we'll be looking through. Now, as we go, we'll be showing you how to use this book for each of the topics. We do that because this is your only help that you have on the FE exam, and yet this book isn't very good. This book is full of useless information. About 90% of this book has got formulas in that never could be used on an FE exam because they are so vague and they're so theoretical. So we have to point out where the good formulas are, and we'll be coordinating our efforts with this reference handbook on every topic. So let's take a look. The first one is non-calculus math. And you say, oh, I remember my high school algebra. Well, yeah, but what about power series? What about conic sections, as I show here? Matrices. Even a little bit of a quick review of your trig. How to find volumes of strange objects from the supplied reference handbook. Now in section 2 on calculus, I'm not actually going to show you how to differentiate and integrate again. I'm going to show you where these differential and integrals are in the supplied reference handbook. Also, we're going to take a look at maximum and minimum and how they relate to calculus because these are typically the kinds of questions that are found on the FE exam. Section 3 involves business math, engineering economics, probability, statistics. This slide from that presentation shows you that we try to make our slides very colorful, very interesting, and we get right to the point. We want to solve problems. In section four, we get into the true technology, statics and dynamics. We deal with free body diagrams for forces on an object, forces exerted over a span. We look at frames and, of course, end up with trusses. In section five, mechanics, we're interested in the stress and strain on beams and on columns. We take the shear force diagram and evaluate them according to moment. Section six goes to fluid mechanics, Bernoulli's equation, and hydraulics, open channel flow, and hydrology, rain runoff. 
here we show that uh, NICE's reference handbook is more important for the graphs that it has in it than some of the formulas that it has in it. In section 7, we talk about structural analysis of steel components, how to take the shear force diagram and integrate it simply to get the moment diagram, and how to use the moment diagram to select beams and columns and use the tables and the graphs in the reference handbook. In section 8, we talk about reinforced concrete and the biggest thing that we want to know about reinforced concrete is how much steel is needed in beams, reinforced beams, and columns. Now section 9 is our geotechnical and environmental engineering section. And we're actually going to do a soil test to find things like permeability, cohesion, friction angle, classification of soils, and more. In our session that finishes on transportation, not only do we look at traffic studies, but we also take a look at the geometric aspects of curve design. And at the end of each session, I'm going to give you a problem set so that you can work some problems based on what you learned in the lesson. Solutions will also be applied. So as you can see, this course gets right to the point. It has sessions that run for as short as 22 minutes and as long as 47 minutes, and the average is about 40 minutes. It's very pointed. The best way that you can possibly study for the FE exam. I hope I see you in class.